Hi, I'm Meg. And I'm Julian. As you plan for your high school years, have you ever considered what really interests you? Thought about what you were truly passionate about? Wouldn't it be cool to go through high school pursuing something you love? Sure, there will always be things we have to do that are not especially exciting, but what if you could pursue something that really interests you alongside those not so exciting things you know you will have to do in high school? How much more interesting could your high school experience be if you had the chance to explore something that you are passionate about while also gaining the skills you need to be successful in the workforce or college? The good news is you absolutely have a chance to do this and we're going to share with you how. You have lots of choices when it comes to high school programs over the next four years and included in those choices are specialty centers. A specialty center is a program that provides a four-year high school curriculum with a unique focus that allows students to pursue a specific interest while also completing the requirements for high school graduation. Are you someone who loves history, literature, world languages, and exploring cultures of the world? There are specialty centers that focus on that. Think you want to be a doctor, nurse, or maybe a sports trainer or physical therapist? There are a couple specialty centers that focus on that. How about figuring out how things work and building things, or pursuing your love of math and science? Yep, you guessed it. There are specialty centers for that. Interested in information technology? Or perhaps you see yourself as a future business owner? You know the answer. There are specialty centers for that. How about developing your leadership skills or exploring mass communications? Perhaps you are an artist, a musician, dancer, or actor? You guessed it, there is a specialty center for all those areas too. See, there really is something for everyone. You just need to determine which specialty center might be right for you. Now there is good news and great news. First, the good news. The high school you regularly attend has a specialty center in your zone, maybe even two. You have a chance to be a part of a specialty center without even having to change high schools, assuming your high school has a center that interests you. Now, the great news. You have a chance to attend any specialty center in the division. You are not limited to just the one in your high school. It is simply a matter of determining which program really piques your interest and apply. So, you might ask, how do I find out more about all these specialty center programs? That's easy. Each year we host a specialty center fair where you can find out more details about each specialty center. You'll find out what specialized classes specialty center students can take and get a sense of what the program and school is like. The best thing about the virtual specialty center fair is you can go back and review the information anytime you wish. The fair is posted on the Chesterfield County Public School website and you have access 24 seven. Use this information to narrow your choices. Then check for the open house dates for those centers in which you are the most interested. Here's an insider tip. You'll want to have a calendar handy as open house dates are different for each center. You can note when each open house is happening on your calendar to make sure it gets on your family schedule. You won't want to miss out on an opportunity to learn more about the programs that interest you. Each center's evening open house session will give you loads of details about the program. These sessions will be incredibly important as you will want to make an informed decision about the best center for you. In these sessions, you'll hear specifics about the curriculum, the requirements for applicants, and fill in any information you didn't find through the Virtual Specialty Center Fair. You don't want to miss these very informative nights to get your questions answered. Finally, once you've narrowed down your choice or choices, you will complete an online application. Seats are limited at each specialty center and different centers have different requirements so you make sure you know all the ins and outs. You wouldn't want to miss any deadlines or requirements that could impact your eligibility. The application window closes mid-December and notices and offers are sent around the beginning of March. Your school counselor will guide you through this process but it is important that you do your homework and know which centers would be a good fit for your interests. One last thing to consider. Specialty centers are for all students. The most important criteria is that you have a genuine interest in the center's focus. Yes, you will have to apply and there could be more applicants than seats available, so there is always a chance you might not be offered a seat. But think of it this way. 
You could be offered a seat in a specialty center that really fits your interests and talents. You'd make great new friends while still keeping the friends you already have. You'd spend the next four years doing something you find really interesting while also completing a high school program that prepares you for your future. So here's the thing. The only way to guarantee you have this opportunity is to apply. You definitely won't be offered a seat if you don't apply. So complete the ap application and take that chance. And on behalf of all the Specialty Center students in Chesterfield, we can say that we are looking forward to seeing you next year. And best of luck as you consider all the amazing opportunities you have for the next four years.